Is your point of sale area merchandised intentionally, on purpose, or has it been neglected as you've been busy checking in merchandise and working on your Facebook Lives? Keep watching as I share two tools that will help you maximize your profit, whether you're a brick and mortar store or an online store, or both. Hey there, I'm Kathy Donovan Wagner, founder of Retail Mavens and mother of America's most fun family. And I am a bit of a geek about utilizing the science of retail and the science of consumer and psychology to help you get more profit and better sleep. If that sounds good to you, make sure you hit subscribe below and click the bell to get notifications so that you won't miss any of the tips and tools and strategies I have to help you be more successful and become a richer retailer. I'm sure you've heard the term a captive audience before, but you might not appreciate, I know that I didn't, is that when a customer walks into your store, that is indeed what they are. They are a captive audience. And one of the best opportunities you have is when they're standing at your point of sale, when they're ready to make their purchase, either waiting in line or actually in the process of making the purchase. You have an opportunity to grow your sale. At this point, they are specifically a captive audience. To fully maximize your customer's experience and your sales, there are two tools that you should be using in your point of sale area. The first one is communication between your customer and your team and signage. Don't forget about that. We'll talk more in a second. The second thing is merchandising, is making sure that you have product displays that will inspire add-ons. Use these tools to turn a boring experience, either waiting to pay or paying, into one that is fun, curious, educational, educational, interesting, exciting, captivating, entertaining. You can insert whatever word belongs to your unique store, but you have that opportunity. All right, let's start with communication. Through communication, you have the opportunity to make sure that your customer feels seen and heard, that they feel understood, like they feel like they are in the right place because you know them. You and your team can build that connection and strengthen your relationship by asking questions and by informing informing your customer about your rewards program or birthday program or upcoming events. Train your team in essential retail skills to provide the best experience from when they enter your store to checkout and any time in between. And don't underestimate the role that your signage can play, intriguing them to take more action and in supporting them and educating them. You can use frames to highlight store gift cards. You can tell a story about your loyalty program and everything that you get when you belong to your loyalty program. You can also highlight your most recent email and you can start the conversation to get them on your email list. While you're busy ringing up the sale, your customer can be busy engaging with your store, interacting with the information that you have out there and learning more about all that you are and everything that you offer. In your online store, the signage takes the form of a pop-up or a banner ad or a hero image, right? So don't neglect those. Use that valuable space to convey information information to them, to share knowledge, to educate and inspire them. Now, the main goal of your point of sale area is to set it up so that it will support add-on sales that grow your business. This maximizes the opportunity to provide the best customer service ever. It does. It gives them everything they need to make their purchase perfect. And don't be afraid to include higher priced items there. I see so often that people just put lower priced items all around there, but don't be afraid to add something that's new and that's big and that you love because it gives you an opportunity to talk about it. You can be over here ringing up the sale, but then you're gonna say, hey, did you see that over there? That game, and you're boxing up everything right here, right? That game is such a fun family game and creates so many memories. You will just love it. And so don't be afraid to include higher priced items like that. When your merchandising is done right, it inspires and encourages people to interact with your products. Consider how you can incorporate all five senses. Tasting, obviously having tastings of things, and sight is an obvious one, right? But also smell. How can you include hearing in that? How can you include touch? One thing that always works great with stuffed animals is you can be ringing out somebody and say, oh my gosh, you see that bunny over there? You've got to touch that thing. You can't believe how soft it is. Wouldn't your new granddaughter love it? You'd be the favorite grandma for sure. And it's all because they touched and felt 
how soft that was. Add-on sales happen when you have the right combination of products that are merchandised well and the right sales support from signage and team interaction. The team has to appreciate that add-on sales is all about offering more customer service. That's what it is. So when setting up merchandising around your point of sale area, you should consider what do your customers get excited about? What do they need? Who do they love? These three things will trigger additional impulse buying decisions that will serve them well. So for example, even if you don't cater to kids, like I said, you have your, that grandma there who has to get something for Easter, that stuffed bunny is simply irresistible because it's so soft. And whomever your customer is, make sure that you identify little things that they can pick up to treat them themselves just because. If you're a craft store, it can be a little quick project that they can do or a mystery project. Or I've, I've seen so many stores, gift stores and clothing stores provide little caramels or that kind of a thing right by the register. And don't forget other things that they have to have. Bottles of water or snacks or Kleenex. They might not scream fun, but they scream need, right? In your online store, it becomes all about suggested products. That's critical. Making sure you're set up to recommend products that complement what they've already put in their cart. Next, I want you to watch this video to learn the best way to greet your customers as they enter your store. Happy retailing.